you Defendant's Exhibit 512, which is already in evidence. You've seen this photograph before, right? I have. On the second day of your direct testimony, you testified that this was taken in the downstairs of the main apartment on December 15th, 2015. Do you recall that testimony? Uh, yes, I believe so. So it's your testimony that Defendant's Exhibit 512 reflects damage to Penthouse 5 that occurred during the December 15th, 2015 incident. Yes? Uh, I'm not quite sure from what incident this is when I see this photo in a, in a vacuum without context. Let's give you that context. Can we please, thanks, if I could have day 16 trial testimony. Approach. All right. <laughs> Could you please turn first to page four, five, eight, five? Specifically on starting on line 16, where it says, let's talk about December 15th, 2015. I'm, you said 458, oh, I'm on 4485, sorry. You said 4585. 4585. Four, Pardon. Line 16. Line 16, where it says, let's talk about December 15th, 2015. You see that? Yes. Okay. And then do you see that your testimony about December 15th, 2015 follows? Let's see. It's just the first line or two. Yes. Okay. Now I'd like you to turn to page 4603. Starting at line 12. 4603. Starting at line 12 and going on to page 4604, line 4. Okay. And do you see that you testify that Defendant's Exhibit 512, which is on the screen, yes. is a picture of the downstairs of the main apartment? That's correct. And the main apartment is Penthouse 5 in the Eastern Columbia Building, right? No, the, well, depends on what. The main apartment's Penthouse 3, generally, when we say main apartment. Penthouse 5 was where you had your closet? The downstairs was kind of like a, had some of my painting studio set up and a reception area. Upstairs was the closet. Got Mezzanine it. office yep. was in between. All right. So it's your testimony that Defendant's Exhibit 512 reflects damage to the penthouse, penthouse 5, that occurred during the December 15th, 2015 incident, right? I'm just not sure from which incident this is a picture of since I'm only looking at Even a though partial your floor. was asking you questions about December 15th, 2015 and then admitted this test, this picture into evidence? I, again, in, in my relation to that incident. Sorry, go ahead. What in what? relation to that incident on December 15th, 2015, this exhibit, defendant's exhibit, you are the defendant, number 512, was admitted into evidence in this court. You testified that this was the result of damage that occurred on December 15th, 2015. Yes or no? Uh, I just need to orient myself because I'm just looking at a picture of a partial no, picture of a No, Ms. Heard, you didn't just so look I at can't. a picture. You looked at your testimony. I, you pointed me towards the page and then asked me a question. I haven't actually reviewed it. I don't know if this was submitted in relation to that incident. Let's pull up, 
Let's actually leave up Defendant's 512 and please pull up Defendant's Exhibit 725, which is already in evidence Thank you. in redacted form, Your Honor. All right, thank you. You can publish. Just side by side. You've seen this photograph as well, right? I have. On the third day of your direct testimony, you testified that this photograph reflected spilled wine in Penthouse 5 on May 21st, 2016, didn't you? I, again, I don't know because I'm looking at a partial picture of a floor, so unless you remove the metadata you've covered up, we could then tell. If you I didn't remove, cover it up, Your Honor. Could I, we unredact them Honor, so we could get context? Yes. That's how it's in evidence. That's how All it's right. in evidence. Next question. Well, the metadata next to it is so that Ms. Heard, to avoid this Ms. Heard, confusion. there is no question pending, and I would appreciate it if you wouldn't be making argument to the jury. Sorry, I thought you would ask me about it. No, I didn't ask you about anything. Let's look at your direct testimony from um, the third day. Yes, ma'am. Thank you. Thank you. Let's turn to page four seven five zero in day seventeen transcript. Uh, sorry, can you four seven five zero? Specifically, line 16. Do you see where Ms. Bredehoff asked you to describe for the jury what took place on May 21st, 2016? I see that. Okay. And do you see that your testimony is reflected about May 21, 2015? Yes. That follows? Okay. Yes. Now let's turn to page 4804. At line 14. 4804, starting at line 14? Yes. Through 4805, line 4. Uh, going to what line? Line 4 at 4805. Do you see that you're testifying that Defendant's Exhibit 725, which is reflected on the right side, reflects spilled wine on the floor in Penthouse 5? That's correct. Okay. And Defendant's Exhibit 512 and 725 seem to be different versions of the same picture, don't they? That's correct. Okay. So which is it? Which one was taken on December 15th, 2015, or May 21st, 2016? If you remove the redacted metadata, you can find out. It's right there. Or if you're telling the truth, you would know. Recognize a portion of a, a, a spilled wine on a floor and I'm supposed to know off the top of my head when you've no. lived through five years of this stuff? I don't think so. That's not how that works. Okay. Thank you, Tom. Ms. Hurd, at the beginning of your cross-examination last Honor, week... May we approach? Yes. All right, ladies and gentlemen in the gallery, I would ask that there be no words or no phrases, no words. 
no sounds at all coming from you. If I hear one more sound, I will clear the gallery and we will continue this testimony without anybody in the courtroom. Understood? Good. All right, your next question. Ms. Hurd, at the beginning of your cross 